Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Emanuel Chavez. I'm going to be your piano instructor for the next few weeks. Uh, you should have by now received your keyboards. Uh, they're going to look a little bit like this one right here. Actually, we have your guys' keyboards right over here. So let's take a look at those really quick before we get started. So you guys have these fancy keyboards here and they're gonna have letters on all these white keys. So that's gonna help us a lot when we're gonna get through all these lessons, learning where our hands are gonna go, and just remembering like the musical alphabet which we're gonna be covering today. Um, so make sure your keyboards are plugged in. You're not gonna have to worry about any of these other buttons. Um, on and off is all you're really going to need to use. If you do need to move the volume, it's right here, all right? So all these other buttons you don't have to worry about, just the on-off button and then the piano keys, of course. So why don't we just get right into it, guys? Um, today we're going to be looking at the layout of the keyboard, first of all, and then we're going to be looking at our musical alphabet. So if you turn or if you get to page five, uh, you should have received this as well. Uh, we're going to be starting off with just the basic piano layout. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to look for groups of the black keys. So we have groups of three and then we have groups of two. So if you start all the way at the end of your keyboard, you're going to start with a group of two on the left side. So we're playing with our left hand and we're going to find that group of two black keys all the way on the left and we're going to play that. And then we're going to hop up to the next group of two. Hop up to the next group of two. Just stay all with your left hand. Let's play the next group. And the next one. So in between each one of those groups of two, we had a group of three black keys. So now we're going to go ahead and play those groups of three. So I want you to find that group of three all the way on the left of your keyboard. The lowest one, we're going to play that. Go up to the next one. Next one. And last one here. So if you noticed when I was playing, I have all my fingers out like this. I wasn't playing like this or like this. So when you're playing the keyboard, you want to get used to having all your fingers out and not just kind of pecking at the keys like that. You want to have all your fingers out flat. And when you're playing, you're playing with those fingertips. So just get used to hitting those fingertips on those keys there. So if you, if you want, you can go ahead and do those again and just practice with fingertips and switch hands if you need to. And if you guys notice, as we move up the keyboard, so as we're moving to the right of the keyboard, the sounds are getting higher and higher. So you go until you reach all the way to the top. So those keys sound really high. And it's showing you on this page, if you look right here, it's telling you the low sounds on the keyboard are gonna be on the left. You have the middle of your keyboard. This is the area where we're gonna be playing a lot of our songs. And then the high part of the keyboard. And this is where we have all of our high songs. So we went through those groups of two and three and two and three. And it's like that all the way up and down the keyboard. On some pianos, you're probably gonna find something like this where you have a key by itself where it's just one and this one would be a group of three so if you follow the pattern it's two three two three so this one over here is if the piano kept going forever and ever this would be a group of three but you guys' keyboards should have all even you shouldn't have any uh, one key that's by itself all right so let's just keep going here to the next page so we're gonna go to page six now and as we were looking at those patterns of three and two and three and two and three and two that we're repeating over and over and over, there's actually letters to each one of the keys here. And we're actually gonna be focusing on the white keys. And we're gonna look at the musical alphabet today. So if you've taken a music class before, you've probably looked at these notes. Uh, the musical alphabet starts on A, just like the normal alphabet goes up to G and then it repeats. So we only have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then it starts over A, B, C, D, E, 
F, G. So we're not going H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P. We just go A to G, and that pattern is going to repeat up and down the keyboard. So let's go to our keyboards one more time. And if you go all the way to the left, the first note on your keyboard should be a C. So we're just going to go up. We're going to go C. five keys are C, D, E, F, G. So why don't we just start on this A now and we're going to play the musical alphabet starting from this A. So the lowest A on your keyboard. So we did C, D, E, F, G. So the next note is going to be A. So let's just play and for this one I'll let you guys play with one finger. So we're going to play A, After G, we go back to A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So the easy way to remember these letters is just going to be getting used to the patterns. The threes and the twos and the threes and the twos. And that's going to help you guys remember where the A's, the B's, the C's, D, and all the way up to G is going to be. Um, so going back to the book really quick, on this bottom half of page 6, you'll see that it shows you kind of where each one of those letters is in relation to the black keys. So if you find a group of three black keys, A is going to be right between 2 and 3, the second and third black key. If you find a group of three black keys again, B is going to be right on the outside of those three keys to the right. And then if we just keep going, C would be to the left of the two black keys. D is going to be in the middle. D is one of the easier ones to remember because it's right in the middle of two black, the group of two. E is going to be to the right of the group of two. E or F is going to be to the left of the group of three. And then G is going to be between 1 and 2 in that group of 3. So we're going to practice really quick just trying to look for all of these notes. So with our right hand, uh, and we're going to practice counting our fingers in just a second, but with your right hand, just with any finger you want, I want you to just play any A on the keyboard. So remember A, and you can use your book, A is going to be between the second and third of the group of three. So our A's. And if I look for another A, if I go down, find a group of three, it's going to be right here. Let's do one more A. Anywhere on your keyboard, find a group of three, and A is between the second and third black key. So the letter C is actually going to be one of the more important notes for us to learn. Um, so let's practice looking for this C. So this one's going to be easy because the first one on your keyboard all the way on the left is going to be a C. So let's play the first note on your keyboard is going to be C. And let's go to the next one up, C. Next one up, C. Next one up, C. And one more. And this part is actually going to be really easy for you guys. I know you guys have those letters on your keyboards. Um, but I do want you to practice trying to read or find those keys without the help of those notes. So you can cover it up with like a paper or a sticky note or something. And just practice finding those letters without looking at the ones that are already written there. So you can always use this page here to help you guys find A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, but like I said, C is going to be the um, more important note for us to, to learn because that's going to be the note that we use a lot. All right, so we got the musical alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it just repeats over and over and over on the keyboard all the way to the end. So before we keep practicing that, I want us to also look at how we're going to be counting fingers with uh, when we're playing piano. So if you go to your page 7 of your books on that top half, you see how it has left hand, right hand. 
And you're gonna see that abbreviation in your music a lot, L-H-R-H. -H. So that's just telling you which hand it's playing. And let's go up to the whiteboard real quick. I'll show you guys. That's pretty much the same thing you have in your books. But we have left hand one, two, three, four, five. Right hand one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be a little weird at first because you're gonna to have to get used to counting your thumbs as one now. So instead of counting these as one, this is gonna be your one. So we got one, two, three, four, and pinkies are five. So if we go back to the keyboard now, if I told you guys to play um, any C on the keyboard with finger number one on your right hand, it's not gonna be this one, it's gonna be this one. So let's do that right now. With our right hand, finger number one, let's find any C on the keyboard and just play that. And then with left hand, finger number two, what I want you guys to do now is play any D on the keyboard. So I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can find that. And that's finger number two in the left hand. So remember finger number two, is going to be your index finger now and I said find a D so let's go to a D here on the keyboard any D and there we go so we've got left hand right hands and it's going to be one two three four and five so now what I want to do is kind of practice finding notes from different ranges and when I say ranges I mean like lower middle part of the keyboard or upper part of the keyboard so I'll let you guys kind of find the notes and then I'll help you guys with that. So on your keyboards, what I want you to do uh, really quick is find a high A. So, and I want you to play a high A with finger number three in the right hand. So remember when you, when you want to play a high note, it's going to be on the right side of your keyboard. Remember how to find A, you're going to find a group of three. And then I said with finger number three in the right hand. So that's your middle finger. And a high A can be any of these ones on the right side. So I'll play this one. Now let's do a low note with our left hand. So we're gonna play a low, let's see. Let's do a low B with finger number five in the left hand. So first you're gonna Find finger, which figure out which one's finger number five. We're doing a low B, so it's gonna be on the left side of the keyboard. And then remember the Bs, you're gonna find a group of three, and it's the one all the way to the right. So if you played that low B with the pinky in your left hand, that was finger number five there, so good job on that. Let's do one more. Let's do one in the middle of the keyboard. So let's see if we can't find a middle C. So right in the middle of your keyboard, find the one that's right in the middle. And it might be marked with a sticker or something, so that one's gonna tell you that that's middle C. And I want you to play that middle C with finger number four in your right hand. So remember, one, two, three, four, five. So this is finger number four. Let's find a middle C. keep practicing just playing with different fingers you can play like with fingers number three you're gonna find all of the C's on the keyboard and you can alternate it's a good exercise to do that so let's alternate hands starting from the bottom and let's play all of our C's with finger number three in both hands so left hand starts low C right hand plays the next one left hand goes to the next one Right hand goes to the next one. Left hand plays the next one. And then right hand plays that last one. So let's do that one more time. This time let's play, uh, what note have we played? Let's do an F. Let's do fingers two, starting from the top, and then work our way down. We'll alternate hands here. So right hand playing F. And then left hand, fingers two, or finger number two. Switching hands, 
switching hands. Let's do one more. So it's good practice to get used to playing both with both hands here. Uh, when you're usually when we're playing stuff on the left hand side of the keyboard, it's going to be our left hand that plays, and then from middle C up, our right hand is usually going to be playing. And we'll see that a little bit later uh, when we start playing our music. We'll see how the left hand is usually playing over here, right hand is usually playing over here, uh, and we will be playing with both hands eventually. Um, so that's going to be something to remember. So right hand is the high stuff, left hand is the low stuff. All right. We're at 16 minutes. So we got that uh, musical alphabet down. Uh, we've looked at these notes here. So we're, one more thing that I want to look at really quick is going to be um, a C five finger position, which we will come back to that. Uh, in a future lesson. So, like when I told you guys earlier that we're going to be playing with all of our fingers, so get used to having your hands out like this, not like this, or this, or this. Just get used to having all your, your hands all over the keyboard. And it is going to feel a little weird at first because you're going to want to push all the keys down. But right there, when you do that, you're playing with your wrist. And it's not bad to play with your wrist, but you want to get used to building finger strength, not having to move your wrist to hit those keys. So you can find any keys on the keyboard and just play, just get used to playing, pushing those keys down. So where my hands are right now is actually where, what I wanted to cover, guys. Um, so if you can find, let's start with our right hand. If you can find your C that's right in the middle of your keyboard, that middle C that we were talking about, what we're going to do is with finger number one, via thumb, you're going to play C. Finger number two is going to play D, and so on. So three is E, four is F, five is G. So the five notes you should be playing are C, D, So remember that position right there, all right? So we're in that middle C, C, D, E, F, G. So now the left hand is gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna play the next C, uh, or the C next door to the left. So I'm gonna go down to this C, and now we're gonna be playing with our pinky, finger number five on C. And we're just gonna go up, D, E, F. So finger number one should be on G. So if you see where my right hand is right now, I have two white keys in between. That's A and B, and then this one starts on C. So it is going to feel a little strange because you have your pinky and your thumb on C. And our hands are used to kind of um, mirroring each other, so you're going to want to play thumbs like this. get used to is playing kind of like the opposite way. So what I want you guys to do now, if you find this hand position, remember we're starting on C. So let's play both of those C's together. So pinky in the left hand, thumb in the right hand, finger number five and finger number one. I want you guys to play those together. So if you got that, you're playing two C's. Let's play D next. So that D is going to be finger number four in the left hand, finger number two in the right hand. This next one should be easier because it's both fingers number three are playing. So those are going to be on E. And then we're just going to go right on to this next note, F. So F is going to be finger number four on the right, finger number two on the left, and G. So again, you're hearing those notes go up and up and up, higher and higher. If we play the other way, starting on G, going to F. So right 
right there, what you guys just played is going to be a five finger scale. So C, D, E, F, G, and then back down. G, F, E, D, C. And this keyboard is going to sound a little bit different from the ones you guys have, and that's totally fine. Uh, just make sure that your hands are in that right position there. So again, C's are always going to be found when you look for your group of two. It's going to be right here on the left. So let's see. And we're playing with all five fingers again. So you guys can practice going up and going down. And another thing to practice is going to be just looking for the different keys on the keyboard and try to find those without um, having to use the letters that are written down already on your keyboard. Um, so going down is left, going up is right. And right there where we were playing right now, starting on that middle C, that's pretty much where we're going to be playing most of the time with middle C and our uh, right hand on middle C, and then the left hand on that bass C. Um, that's going to be the C that's next door. All right. So you guys have um, this book, this material here. Um, just familiarize yourself with this, especially is what I want you guys to learn um, mainly for today is just remembering where all these letters are going to be. So you can, like I said, just um, block those notes out and then just kind of try finding all those notes on the keyboard, find the high ones, play the low ones, um, play the middle ones. And that's going to be also a good practice for you guys and also play with different fingers it's really easy for us just to play with these two fingers these are probably the stronger ones in our hand try playing with fingers four and five those are the weaker fingers that we have in our hand <coughs> so if you play with those you'll get a little bit of strength in that and those fingers it will get um, it'll get you used to playing with all of your fingers on the keyboard uh, so that was Pretty much what we wanted to cover today, guys. Uh, remember, when you're counting your fingers now, I want you guys to remember one, two, three, four, and five. So it's not one, this is one now, all right, guys? Um, next time we're gonna be looking at our rhythm. So if you see on your page seven, it goes into rhythm. Uh, we'll look at that a little bit more next time. Um, but if you guys have any questions, or any concerns, if there's anything that uh, you want to ask about what we've covered today, we're going to have time right after this um, lesson uh, for you guys to ask those questions and I'll be here to help you all out with all that stuff. So keep practicing. Um, we got a few more lessons coming up and we're going to be looking at some more of the stuff, how to read music and all that. So it's going to be a good time, guys. So thank you and I'll see you guys for the questions and answers.